At the cabinet meeting this morning, the government reviewed the details of a supplementary budget bill to tackle fine dust and boost exports. Our Kim Song has the details. The government has announced the details of its 5.9 billion U.S. dollar supplementary budget mainly targeted at boosting the local economy. The planned stimulus package allocates $1.3 billion to tackle fine dust, including subsidies for replacing 400,000 old diesel-powered cars, as well as providing face masks for vulnerable social groups and construction workers. Around $612 million will be used to strengthen safety measures such as improving the response to wildfires by increasing the number of wildland firefighters from 300 to 435 people and providing more helicopters. $3.9 billion, almost two-thirds of the budget will be used to help boost the economy by increasing export credit financing and supporting areas like the southeastern city of Pohang, which is still recovering from the 2017 earthquake. We expect a stimulus package to help create around 73,000 new jobs. The finance ministry added that the extra budget could help build recovery momentum in the second half of the year and boost domestic growth by 0.1 percentage points this year, as well as cutting 7,000 tons of fine dust. The proposed stimulus comes amid falling export growth in the country. Exports contracted for the fourth consecutive month down 8 percent on year in March amid slowing global trade and chip demand. The IMF had recommended last month that the Korean government injects $7.9 billion of stimulus, or 0.5 percent of the country's nominal GDP, if it is to meet the government's growth target of between 2.6 and 2.7 percent for the year. The government will submit the supplementary budget bill to parliament on Thursday. If passed, it will be the Moon administration's third extra budget bill with around $3 billion coming in the form of government bond issuance. Kim Hye-sung, Arirang News.